backstep lunge with the deficit. There are tons of options for you when you do this exercise. I may have programmed you to hold one plate. You're gonna take a step. No risers on your bench. No, 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 no. Just the top. You have one plate or one dumbbell. You hold it at your collarbones. Elbows tucked in, feet up with the part. You're stepping back off your bench, dropping the back knee into a solid lunge, pushing out of the front heel to come back on. Switching legs, stepping back. Couple keys here. When you step back, no lean. Nice and lifted torso. When you step back, it ain't no tap. It's a lunge. I don't want this. You don't want this. I want you to step back far. Cue. Number two, super important. Your entire foot that's on the bench needs to be there. None of this, none of this. You know what will happen? You'll hurt yourself. So make sure, go slow. Keep the feet hip width apart. If I've programmed you a suitcase carry, you hold two plates or two dumbbells of equal weight at your sides like a suitcase, like you're going on a trip. And you do the same thing, stepping back off the bench, dropping into that straight, strong lunge, feet hip width, chest up, core tight, coming up and switching. Dropping into that lunge and lift. Absolutely love deficit work. If, that's the suitcase here. If I programmed you with, with the barbell, you are lucky. Put the barbell on your back. Should be heavier than this one. I'm demoing so I get to be light. Draw your elbows forward, squeeze under the bar. Breathe in, same deal. Absolutely wonderful for the legs. I don't want you rushing here. If I program you a nice knee, knee lift with a deficit, then you can go a little bit quicker. But when you've got weight on you, I need you to move really well. Focus on the range, the depth, and the quality of your lunges, not the speed. Oh, that got my heart rate up. <laughs>